wow, everybody in India is, India is so tall, right? Look at you. You and I should be standing here and then... Uh, <laughs> no one over... How tall are you? Like 172? Yeah, about huh. 165. No, you're taller than that. I think, I think I'm over 165. He says he's 165 centimeters. I think you I think you hit at I'm least one, 170. Yeah, I'm, I'm 174 and we are like... Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah I'm standing think, on a, are you, are I'm you, standing on you, a slide. Uh, but, uh, yeah, but are you Actually, remembering your school time? <laughs> See, I'm like not. <laughs> yeah? Right? Yes. Do you? Going. Welcome to the Acquia podcast. Drupal technology, community and business. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. There's a module for that? There, of course there is. We are at the Contribution Sprint Day of DrupalCon Asia in Mumbai, uh, wrapping up a great few days for me. Praful Nagwani, how was your DrupalCon? Uh, this is my third DrupalCon, and this was fantastic. Uh, even more so because this is happening in India, in their own backyard. It has been really, really great the way it's been organized, the sessions, everyone coming in, meeting each other and stuff. It's been fantastic. Yeah, so I would like to point out um, to really... Uh, a huge thank you to the Drupal Association and everyone involved in the organization because it was incredibly smooth. And I've been to cons in, in, in Europe and America that were nowhere near as well organized. So fantastic. Thank you, Drupal Association. Thank you. Prasad, yes. how was your Drupal con? Uh, it, it was a dream come true for me. I first did a Drupal con in London in, um, I think it was 2011 or 12. And I had, I had seen you. Doing the pre-note, uh, I, had, I had met uh, Jacob and Riz, with whom I work now. And, and from that time, I, I wanted to do a pre-note with you. And I wanted to uh, have that done in India. And it happened. Wow, that's cool. So, so we did a pre-note in London called... Uh, so there's a, there's a Dickens story called The Christmas, yeah, Carol, Christmas Carol. And we did a parody of The Christmas Carol. Yeah. And we had the ghost of DrupalCon past yeah. and the ghost of DrupalCon yeah, present and the ghost of DrupalCon future. Yeah. And it was hilarious. hilarious. And we got Chicks, uh, yeah. the, the contributor CHX, to, yeah. to be the ghost of DrupalCon past. And he was hilarious. And the whole thing, actually, I'm so glad you were there. I ne we never <laughs> talked about <laughs> this. Talked so about this. Prasad <laughs> and I organized the pre-note, which is a DrupalCon tradition now, where it's an opening introduction, sort of a welcome, welcome. to DrupalCon before yeah. Dries' yeah. Dries note. Um, Prasad and I, as well as Adam Duran and Campbell Vertesi and Parth Gohil wow. and Ashwini, Ashwini Kumar, uh, um, we, we wrote it as a team together. We really, we were, we were very concerned, um, frankly, about making sure it would be funny in India, yeah. right? Yeah. And so Prasad and the Indian team hooked us up with, with great jokes and concepts. And, and um, I think, we, I think we, we, we rode the line really yeah. well of, of um, you know, frankly, mm -hmm. I don't know everything that's going to be offensive in India. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. And, and so we were really concerned about, we wanted to be funny maybe even edgy, right? But not, not upset not people. Yeah. So, so how did you feel like when we did tongue twisters with an Indian accent? <laughs> Absolutely, that was uh, amazing. I think everybody enjoyed that. And uh, people probably were not expecting that. So it was really a, a, a surprise for them, which was obviously a good surprise. Uh, and overall, I think uh, DrupalCon in India has been an uh, awesome experience till now. I think it is a dream uh, come true for the entire uh, India community. because And most important is, I think the India community has started getting recognized and you know it, it's growing. And that's why I think it is more important. So we didn't quite manage to do this yet. Please introduce yourself sure. to everyone. Uh, I am Prasad Gokte. I work from Pune for Akvia. I'm Prasad Shirgaukar. I work for Akvia from Pune from my home. So you're Prasad Zero, right? <laughs> yeah. And you're Prasad One. Yes. Okay. Hi, I am Praful Nagwani and I work from, uh, for Akvia from Pune office. I have been into Drupal since eight years now, since Drupal 6, yeah. How did you discover Drupal? 
it happened uh, i got a job and they said that you will need to work on something called php hmm. and i never worked on php <laughs> till then so i said okay let's try it out and uh, since then i have been with drupal i never worked before that i i was totally working on microsoft technologies i never worked on any of the other open source things uh, i knew about joomla i knew i had read about drupal but uh, that's how my experience start, started and since then i am here i'm not going anywhere so 8 years how long have you been doing drupal prasad uh 10 years since drupal 4.7 I installed Drupal 4.6 <laughs> but I didn't really do anything with it. I did my first site. Actually I I discovered Drupal because I wanted to do my poetry website uh in Marathi and back in 2005 2006 uh, Drupal was the only CMS which supported non-English characters. Wait, the wait. The only CMS. Yeah. So I I had downloaded a couple of others I they didn't support unicode characters really well. So Drupal was the only one which supported unicode ever since its its birth actually yeah. right and this is a great segue uh into into hey drupal 8 has been released and the multilingual internationalization support is unbelievable yeah, if anybody hasn't tried yeah, this yet yeah. to get a fully 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 translated site in drupal 7 yeah. you couldn't mm-hmm. because there are certain things um variables yeah. and, and, and certain things that you couldn't touch but you could come the very very closest yeah. by installing somewhere between 21 and 27 modules right <laughs> yes. hands up who knows how many modules you have to install into Drupal 8 to make it fully multilingual every single thing translatable how many modules do i have to install uh, nothing Three. apart from core the core Absolutely. modules now give me a number how Three. many modules 3 four Enable no one how, module. i thought you guys worked with Drupal yeah. the correct answer is zero yeah, modules zero. so because core has multilingual multilingual right four modules that you yeah. turn on every single so yeah. amazing so to do that site today right yeah. would be would, would be, be even easier gig, yeah mm. so prasad how long have you been doing drupal uh since four years now four plus years so i was introduced when i started working for a company it was like first project for me in drupal i never came across it so from that stage i learned and then now four years i have been working what's your favorite thing about drupal uh building sites faster aha <laughs> uh-huh, okay and and what what technologies did you work in before uh it was um, in arcgis and uh, microsoft okay do you have a favorite drupal module that's a tough one <laughs> <laughs> that's a tough one uh, i think i like uh, views and panels more yeah i i would go for those okay views all the way views just right. views yeah and every subsystem all all the ecosystem around views right yeah. and another plug for drupal 8 yeah views, views. was the key differentiator yeah. Yeah. for us since drupal 5 right. that yeah. really set us apart from other cmss yeah. as well as our yeah. multilingual support yeah. apparently yeah. now it's in core 2 yeah. which which means we can actually abstract it out make other interfaces and other tools rely on it that's pretty cool this is the aquia Pune office. Yeah. We had an Aquia India sort of a gathering as part of Drupal Kamya the day. How many people work for Aquia India now? Uh around more than 25. And so 3 4 4 in Pune. In Pune? Four in Pune. How many in Delhi? Uh, rest yes. everyone in Delhi. So when is the Pune office going to overtake Delhi and become the true center of Aquia India? Uh, as far as leadership is concerned that is the true center right now. <laughs> 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 the thought leadership is concerned that is uh, but yeah number wise who cares about quantitative and quality is there <laughs> so one thing i've noticed about the indian community is <laughs> that um india is such a huge 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 place um i've met really wonderful local community leaders from all different parts of the country and there's not a national organization per se yeah. but it feels to me like the communication between the different groups is actually pretty strong how, how, what's What's up in Drupal today in India? Uh in terms of work in uh you mean Aquia India or no. Drupal in India? <clears throat> uh I think uh we we have been working into various sectors. Uh mostly I think more of the SI or being companies are also getting involved and lot of uh, commit commits and contributions are happening. So I think people are uh, becoming more and more uh, knowledgeable I would say 
uh, more and more awareness is increasing which is obviously a good thing i mean growth definitely is the word i would say growth yeah i think about 8 uh, 8 years ago uh, we had very small pockets in pune uh, in delhi and possibly in ahmedabad uh, where we are also and, and in iit mumbai obviously i'm not i'm Um, Ahmedabad. 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 Ahmedabad was the first user group, I think, yeah. in India. So it was the first user group. First Drupal camp in India was in Ahmedabad, Ahmedabad in 2008. 2009 was in Pune. Pune. That Pune. three 300 people attended the yeah. 2009, yeah. Uh, and I think we had someone from US visiting and talking there. Yeah, uh, it was uh, uh, Barry. Uh, Addison Addison Barry Addison Barry Addison Barry Uh you said Barry and I was about to say yeah, Barry no. Jasper no, but no, no, no. and that's because when she Addison was traveling Barry. around on the yeah. Knight yes. Foundation grant yes. uh huh uh huh and we had a code sprint actually in 2009 at yes. that time in january i remember yeah. that was my like first community uh-huh. interaction in pune where i met praful and a um, uh, uh, lo- lot of the pain and we have been ever since doing drupal camps Praful has been Praful and Deepen had been like instrumental in setting up community. Praful drives community like his a it's it's his own like homely household duty, and he he gets everyone together. He gets like yeah he he literally uh, uh, many of the times he just shouts at people if they are not doing work. He, yeah, there are a lot of uh, community leaders in India. I think the good part uh, with India that's happening is everyone shares things with each other. So if there is a camp that's happening in Pune, I'm definitely I I, ha- I have seen this and we have done this. Delhi comes to help in yeah. and other Bangalore comes to help in. We share things. We share resources. Okay, this is how. we did the budget this is how we did the sponsors this is the users this is my user group go ahead mail them yeah. so i don't have to start from scratch anyone in india wanting to do a drupal camp they have a head start there are people to help out Absolutely. i think that is the community spirit which is actually shown that everybody wants the camp to be successful no matter where it is Yeah, I've, been, I've 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 heard about a, a lot of that happening. And uh, for example, Parth Gohil, he has yes. an actual job to just help as many people as possible. Someone uh, came up to me yesterday uh, at at the DrupalCon and told me uh, he told me a, a Veda in Sanskrit, yeah. and he said, "Open source is is central." it's absolutely the best possible fit for indian culture absolutely. because because giving and sharing are yeah. our core values as a nation and the the veda he read me um was something like give a man food and he'll be satiated for a few hours but give him knowledge, knowledge. right and um of course it was put much more elegantly but yeah. essentially knowledge will help you fill your you know your life forever yeah. so, I'm definitely going to use that in slides with the proper Sanskrit on it for for for, for forever <laughs> yeah. because it was so it was so moving it's anyway I'm having an absolutely splendid time in India I've just been so impressed with the con and with the community the number of young people um frankly can you talk a little bit about the the gender balance in the developer community in India I've seen a a a lot of women in in terms of percentage much much more than I see in a lot of communities around the world uh yes so uh, i think a uh, good thing happening over here is the community overall has been pretty much welcoming everyone into the community and ready to help uh, as as it was said by denis in our keynote like you know uh, people here have open mind nobody is above someone or below someone we are all at equal level and that is what is driving people to get more into getting started with community so uh, for an example uh, we started doing meetups regularly in pune and over a period of 6 months we have about 400 attendees um, uh, aggregated over 6 months and lot of these i, I think lot of these were women yes uh, uh, and they really feel the part of it because it's a community that drives things together right in the west in open source and it's a known problem we have we have a diversity problem very very often um Here I don't see that in terms of religion and gender and age I've seen a, a real you know I've seen people who are definitely in their 60s at DrupalCon and I'm um, seen seen definitely seen people in their early 20s or younger I'm very impressed by that The places that I've seen that before are places like Bulgaria mm-hmm. so post communist countries who have a really strong engineering tradition a really strong educational tradition from over over decades um so anyway well done India because it's great it's very inspiring what's next for drupal in india uh, we we believe we strongly believe that there should be a nationwide meetup 
uh, every year, uh, if not DrupalCon, every year in India. So I know a guy who would like to be invited if you're doing anything interesting. I can, I'll, I'll introduce you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, please, please do. So, Akwia Pune, thank you guys so, so, so much for taking the time to talk with me. I really can't wait to, to see you again soon. Um, anything, any last words, anything you want to promote, push, say? Yeah, I mean, thanks to you for this. And uh, definitely we, we would expect that you come to Pune once. But uh, one thing that probably I want to uh, mention it over here is one of the important thing uh, in the Drupal community that recently is happening is more and more educational organizations have started taking interest. And I think that is the route. I mean, if we start, uh, you know, uh, giving education for Drupal from that stage, I think we'll build a definitely a very good community. I'm glad you brought that up because I had forgotten um, one of the very impressive things that I've seen here in India is huge community effort to bring Drupal into high schools yeah. and into universities. And this is, some, this is another challenge that we, I've, the efforts that I've been involved in, is, it's been very, very difficult for us. And India is now producing young software engineers who know Drupal and who like Drupal. And I'm, it's really, really exciting that you are solving the pipeline problem. Yep. And everyone else out there, you need to come and see what the Indians are doing because it's just, just right. Catch them at 15, 16, get them excited about the web, then we can have them. Yeah. Prasad, yes. shameless plug. It's... <laughs> No, it's it's uh, exactly the same thing I was going to say is, is universities and colleges are so important and we need to have Drupal over there. So uh, we are uh, actually uh, we are in talks with IIT. They have an open education uh, resources project where they have a software project, software education translated to like 15 Indian languages. And we are planning to uh, provide Drupal content to them. Hmm. So that way, uh, Drupal will reach uh, to the most remotest corner of India uh, in their own language. Please let me know when that is happening. I'd love to help promote that. Absolutely. Praful? Uh, again, the focus is on the education system. So uh, India community recently started the DCAP program, which is the Drupal Campus Ambassador yeah. program, which is in a pilot phase uh, with Symbiosis. And uh, I think uh, what we need to majorly do uh, and we are trying to do is get students connected to people so and they know where to go. They are not left somewhere looking around, okay, what to do next. That is where we lose them. Take them by the hand and bring them to the goal. <laughs> show them the way, show them. And if they take Drupal as a career, definitely a good choice for them. But we need to tell them, yes, Drupal has a career option. It's not that only Microsoft or other technologies have that. Listen, we run 2% of the web, 5% of sites with an identifiable CMS, and it's only going to get bigger. You've got a job here. Yep. Yeah. So, Praful. Thank you so much. Prasad. Thank you so much. Prasad, Thank you so much. zero, one. <laughs> Thank you guys for taking the time to talk to me. It's been, it's been really, really great to spend time together. Awesome. I can't wait to see you next time. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks. 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 Thank you. Bye.